Welcome back friends, it's Anders. Today, we are making three lovely cocktails for the lovely season because we are coming up on Valentine's Day. These are three delicious cocktails, all various levels of pink. It's gonna be a lot of fun, super easy, real quick list. Boom, we'll get right through it. I've got an original in here that I'm gonna throw into the mix. This is how I feed you my original recipes. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make three cocktails for love to the bar. Today's video is brought to you by Factor. Factor makes nutritious, never frozen, ready to eat meals delivered straight to you. I'm always running around filming videos, writing outlines, playing with the dog, living my life. I don't always have time to prep my meals, think about what it is I'm going to eat, let alone something healthy. With Factor, I can just grab a ready-made meal out of the fridge and it's good to go in two minutes. I can even just grab one to go if I'm headed to the studio. No matter your lifestyle, Factor has a delicious flavor-packed meal for you with keto, calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, protein plus options on the menu each week. There is a little something for everyone. It's cheaper, faster, and healthier than takeout. Also, there are over 36 add-ons like snacks, sweets, juices, and smoothies, so that's fun. I love snacks, so skip the trip to the grocery store. All that chopping, that prepping, that cleanup, with Factor. Head to factor75.com or click on the link down below and use the code Andres50 at checkout to receive 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com, Andres50. Thank you, Factor. Back to the film. Number one, the Pink Lady. This is a classic. It is a sour style cocktail and it's gin based, but it also has a little bit of Applejack. We will need gin, apple brandy, or apple jack, fresh lemon juice, grenadine, and an egg white, which is part of an egg. So we will have to extract the egg white from the egg. First, we're going to separate the egg white. I'm going to do this in a separate bowl in case I get bits of shell in there. In the shaking tin, we'll start with one egg white. If you want, you could go egg free and add three quarters of an ounce of aquafaba. And then let's add the gin. An ounce and a half of dry gin, half an ounce of your straight apple brandy or apple jack, half an ounce of grenadine. This is my homemade recipe. I'll leave it in the description down below. I, If you want a real pink pink lady, get one that is brighter red in color. However, in my opinion, the flavor is more important than the brightness of red of the grenadine. And finally, three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Now we can give this a dry shake, meaning shake it up without any ice. This is gonna make it frothy, foamy, helps to emulsify everything before we add ice. But we wanna make sure we have a good seal, about 10 seconds or so. Now we can add ice and shake. About another 10 to 15 seconds, double strain into your chilled cocktail glass, express some lemon oil across the top, hit the sides, and we can garnish with a cocktail cherry right on top. There we have the Pink Lady. Cheers. Mm, outstanding. You get the dry gin up front, but the apple brandy as an accent is really nice in this one. Light, fluffy, tart, fun, perfect for Valentine's. I could stop the list there, but I'm not going to because then it wouldn't be a list. So on to the next one, which is for somebody who wants a stronger cocktail. Tequila based, it means business. It's called La Rosita. Okie dokie, artichoke. For this drink, we are going to need a Reposado tequila, Campari, sweet vermouth, dry vermouth, and Angostura bitters. Now, if you know your cocktails, then you know that this is a riff on a Negroni. Few major differences though. Obviously, tequila as a base, but this is also a perfect cocktail, meaning it's equal parts sweet and dry vermouth. You may have heard of a perfect Manhattan, a perfect martini, it does not mean that it is flawless. It means that it's equal parts sweet and dry vermouth. So with that, let's build. Get your mixing glass. An ounce and a half of Reposado tequila. To that, add half an ounce of Campari, half an ounce of sweet vermouth, half an ounce of dry vermouth, and a small dash of Angostura bitters. That's just one dash from this teeny tiny dasher bottle. You don't have Angostura bitters? Well, you're gonna wanna get some at some point, but you don't need it in this drink. It is optional. Now we can add ice and stir. About 30 seconds or so, that looks good. Grab a low ball glass and a large lump of ice. You can strain off the cocktail over your beautiful ice lump. However, if you want, you could serve this one up too. It's still gonna be good. I've served La Rosita's with lemon zest, orange zest, and grapefruit zest. All very good. Today, I'm gonna do grapefruit, but whatever citrus you have is gonna work. Hit the sides. La Rosita, cheers. That's good. You get the grapefruit on the nose and you get a lot of the tequila. So use a good one. The Campari is more on the end. So it has a nice bitter finish, but it's not a Campari forward cocktail. Try it. You're gonna love it. On to number three. This is my original 
I'm calling the Lonely Valentine because sometimes your Valentine doesn't show up. And for that, you need a tasty drink. So for this drink, we are gonna need a light rum, a white creme de cacao, ruby port, fresh lemon juice, and simple syrup. As usual, this is my semi-rich syrup, one and a half parts sugar to one part water. Let's build. It's gonna be shaken, gonna be served up once again. So get your glassware chilling into the shaking tin. One and a half ounces of your light rum, half an ounce of your white creme de cacao, half an ounce of your ruby port, three quarters of an ounce of your fresh lemon juice, and one quarter of an ounce of the simple syrup. 12 to 15 seconds. And double strain into your chilled cocktail glass. Let's spritz it with a little lemon oil. And there we have the Lonely Valentine. Cheers. You get the rum. It's not overpowering, but you notice that it's there. You get a fruitiness from the port, which I really like. And then this subtle chocolate finish. It's kind of a mashup between a 20th century and the chocolate punch. You're probably wondering if I am pretending that I like it because I came up with it. I'm not. In fact, I would like to invite Oz on. I know a lot of people respect her opinion above mine. Oz, get in here. All right. Yeah, I will test it. these cocktails to prove that they're tasty <laughs> or disprove that they are tasty. Right. Or prove that they are not tasty. They are tasty, all of them. Okay, I'll try yours. Yeah, that's good. It's all right, yeah? That's really good. Okay, I'll try this egg one, I guess. Pink Eggs, Lady. Fine. Pink Lady, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great with aquafaba as well. Oh, that is good, actually. That's lighter than I thought. It is. I'll try the La Rosita next, or mm. I will try La Rosita next. There's a lot of tequila, though. So if you like tequila, maybe. For me, I'm a Campari kind of girl. I love Campari, mm. so I want more Campari. Out of the three, I do like the Lonely Valentine the best. You do? Yeah, not because I'm biased. Matches my shirt, kind of. I it didn't does. wear anything special for Valentine's Day. That is a... I went with like a farmer look. <sighs> yes, a good girl. There we are. Hope you liked the video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you, Factor, for sponsoring today's film. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Goodbye. You were on the television. You were on the TV. <sighs> All, All right, right. That's it. That's it.